Hello? 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 Is that you, Wallace? Hello? What did you write to Amsterdam? I've told them that if they'll take the parcel, we'll, quote, cut prices for pick. Yes, sir. Very good, sir. <clears throat> what do you do with yourself on Saturday afternoons, Mr. Wallace? Well, same as I've done for 20 years. Take it easy. Why? Thought you might like to take me out. Take you out? Are you aware, Miss Brown, that I am a married man? Sorry. You could still take things easy. I shouldn't expect you to get fresh with me or anything. Fresh? And what do you mean by fresh? Well, uh, familiar, like. Familiar? I'm surprised at you, Miss Brown. I don't know what you modern girls are coming to. I've got grown-up daughters. If they behaved like that, I'd put them across my knee. Good afternoon. Don't forget to Savoy tonight. All right. 8.30. I'll be there. Oh, Miss Wallace. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, Lady Pinter wishes to see some more models. Oh, sir. Now, I'm sure, Lady Pinter, if the line here was only just a tiny fraction... Uh, don't you take that off, Blanche. <laughs> Lady Pinter's in there and she wants to try it on again. Now, run along, Harry. Oh, Blanche. 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 Come on, you put that on, dear, and hurry up about it. Come on, put that one on. Slavery in this place. My God. What a rush. Come on, you put that on one, oh, two. Hell. Be quick about it. Hello? Hello. Yes, and I should think time too. Listen, Mayfair, one, two, three, four. Now, come on, girls, hurry up. Hurry up, all of you. Mr. Thornton's waiting. Now, come on. Oh, hello, is that Whitridge's? Hello? Hello, who's speaking? There is Wallace speaking. Oh. Oh, is that you, Ada? Yes. Listen, I can't come out this afternoon. Mr. Thornton's got a good customer in there. It's fed up, that's what I am. Oh. Oh, but listen, dear, I, I said... Oh. Oh, she's gone. What's the trouble? It's my sister, Ada. Someone's messed up her afternoon. Oh, I should worry. Do her good. Oh. Well, where are we going, anyway? Well, what about Richmond or uh, Hampstead? Oh, we went to Hampstead last Saturday. So we did. I know. Let's go to Hampton Court. Yes. Yes, Hampton Court will do me. Come on, we'll get a Green Line bus. change after working all day. Oh, the atmosphere in that shop gets so stuffy. And that Miss Stevens in the hot weather. Oh, you know, she really ought to do something about it. <coughs> oh, <coughs> fancy you. <laughs> well, if you're with common people all day, what will you? Do you know, Glad, I think we ought to go. We'll miss our tea. Oh, well, perhaps we ought. Now, listen, I'll go one way and you go the other. We don't both want to get lost, do we? No, we don't. Hey, what about the sandwiches? Oh, never mind them. The birds eat them. Come on. please I'm resting yes so I see and eating my sandwiches too they're yours they're nice oh I'm glad you like them I'd have had a chop cooked if I'd known oh dear oh, it's easy to find your way in and out do you know the way out no but I'm not a bit troubled oh well I am I'm dead tired why don't you sit down well, I can't very well sit on the floor. Why not? Nearly everybody I know sits on the floor. Oh, they must be funny people. Funny? 
Are Russians funny? Yes, I suppose they are very funny. Russians? Are you a Bolshevik? Bolshevik? Oh, Bolshevik. No, no, I'm, I'm not a Bolshevik. Oh. Well, in that case, I'll sit down. Do. Oh, funny, I am tired. Well, if you're very tired, why don't you lie down? You can put your head in my lap if you like. I don't care. I'll do no such thing. Just because this is a maze, there's no need to be familiar. Familiar? What's that? Well, fresh. You ought to know. You're a foreigner. You're wishing me to make love with you? I do not. Do you take me for? Quite pleased with yourself, aren't you? No, I'm not a bit pleased with myself. I was a fool to come here. Well, then, why did you? Well, you see, my mother lived here for a time. She spoke of it so often. I was curious to see the place. Your mother? Your mother lived here, in this palace? Yes, why not? Before the war, you know, when she visited England, the king used to put some rooms at her disposal. The king? Which king? Same as now. Oh, you're pulling my leg. I have not touched your leg. Oh, who was she, your mother? Her name? Olga Lenyanova. But why should she stay in a palace? Well, she always stayed in a palace. But why? Because she was a princess, I suppose. I can think of no other reason for staying in a palace. They're very large and drafty and smelling of stale mice. Oh, you would have me on, wouldn't you? Do you think I swallow that stuff? Your mother was no princess, you can't tell me. <laughs> but why are you so excited? Do you really mean it? Well, of course I mean it. I bet you can't prove it. Oh, well, no, I cannot. And in any case, it is very unimportant. Wait a minute, perhaps, as you are so anxious, perhaps I can prove it. Oh, oh, what lovely stones. Don't you wish they were real? Why, who's the man? Why, it's... Uh... Mm, that's the Tsar. There's writing on it. To Olga from Nicholas. He gave it to my mother, she gave it to me. It has seen much trouble. Oh, I say, I... I am sorry. I... I thought you were trying to kid me. What's your name? Felix. Felix? Oh, no, no. You would say Felix, wouldn't you? Yeah. It means happy. A little joke. Oh, Felix. And are you a prince, too? I used to think so. Oh, I can't get over it. Fancy me talking to a prince. And it amuses you? Oh, no. No, I'm thrilled. Oh, you wait till I tell the girls. They'll never believe me at home. <laughs> I'd love to see Mother's face. Excuse me, but uh, is your mother alive still? No. She is dead. They are all dead. I have no one but myself. Where are you staying? I shall stay here. Here? Mm. You mean you're going to stay out all night? Yes. Because you haven't got any money? Yes. Oh, we, we can't have that. Oh, listen, I hope you won't think this is awful cheek on my part, but, uh, would you allow me? I've got some. It's, it's not very much, but, uh, here it is. Oh, thank you. Oh, you took it. But you gave it to me. You want it back, there it is. Oh, no. No, it isn't that, but, uh, I thought you'd say... Oh, I know. You thought I would say, um... Oh, no, please. I couldn't accept it, didn't you? Uh, well, yes. Ah, I thought so. Oh, no, I never do that. Oh, well, you needn't pay it back. No, I hadn't thought to do so. Oh. Uh, what are you going to do? I mean, in England. Work? No, I don't know the way. No, I'll find some Russians who will give me some more money. Oh, I don't like that way at all. Now, now, what do you think of this for an idea? I know Mother wouldn't mind. In fact, I'm sure she'd love it. Now, you haven't got anywhere to stay. We've got room. We'll put you up, just for the night. Put me up where? I mean, you can stay with us. There's lots of room. Do you have good coffee? I like good coffee. Oh, <laughs> you are funny. Fancy talking about coffee when you haven't even got a roof to sleep and... Uh... Oh, but I have. Now. Yes, 
silly. <laughs> oh, you lazy old thing, you. Come on. <laughs> oh, tea's late. Oh, look at me. Empress of China. Hey, what's that scent you got on? Podo. Podo. Oh, well, it smells a bit tarty to me. Now, what's wrong with a nice drop of Florida water? Oh, I don't happen to care for it, that's all. Oh, you're getting too late in life to live, Miguel. I'll say she is. Changing her name from Ada to Adrienne. Why, what's wrong with Ada? Adrienne's nice. <sighs> Means something. It's French for Ada, that's all. And you're not French with all your podo. Do you not? Ha, whoopee! What should we do about Auntie Flossie? You'd manage. I wonder what goes on inside her. Clockwork, my dear, that's all clockwork. <clears throat> oh, you dirty girl, don't pick. Yeah, you going out again with that Mr. Thornton? <clears throat> yes. I'm meeting him tonight. Huh? Are you sure he's, um, well, you know what I mean. Does he ever try to, um... Oh, I'd like to see him. Don't you worry, not about me, Mum. You sure? Of course I'm sure. What'd you take me <clears throat> for? Do you like most of you jumper, Dad? Oh, my word, is it new? Is it new? <laughs> he always pretends he doesn't notice. He knows he's all right. What about that red hat? He hated it. Bit fast, wasn't it? Fast? <laughs> you mean young. Not too young. Not for you. Uh, there you see, Ada. Compliments after 24 years. Wasn't intended. Oh, no. Oh, you silly old shy thing. Come over here and give us a kiss. I don't mind, do you? <laughs> oh, stop your canoodling, you two. It's not decent. Yes, that's what I say. <laughs> here, where's my attic? Yeah, Dad, Archie Bringle's got a wireless set. He got Berlin. He can keep Berlin. He got it second hand. He paid ten bob down and the rest in six months. Yes, but how does he know it'll last six months? Here. I understand you've been smoking again. I have not. Yes, you have. You'll stop your growing. I never smoked till I was 21. Well, you're not so tall as me now. <laughs> Don't be cheeky to your dad. That's not the way to get a wireless. Well, I won't get one anyway. Oh, well, so long as you know. Anyway, you're going to boarding school tomorrow, so you won't need one for the next three months. <laughs> well, I must say I'd like a wireless myself. It's wonderful what a bit of music does when you're making the beds. I know he's knocking a thousand. Now, we will have some fun. Oh, Go for on. shame, Will. Mort's a regular ray of sunshine. Knows all the jokes. Yes, last year. No. Hello, Mort. Hello, Albert. How'd you like the new car, eh? New? Well, it's as new as far as I'm concerned. Only done 50,000 miles. Yeah, Archie Pringle's got a wireless set. Greetings all. Hello, Mum. How's the old girl? Prime. Oh, lovely. Well, that's that stuff. How's that? Oh, dressed for dinner, I see. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why, Ada? Why the fishnet? <laughs> Go for a dip in the briny. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Here, here, where's Glad? She's not in yet. Not in? No, go on, sit down, boy. Oh, all right, Mum. She won't be long. Do you mind waiting out here a moment? <laughs> oh, my. Hello, everybody. Hello, Mum. <laughs> Hello, Maud. Hello, Dad. Whoa, whoa, what's wrong with a kiss? Oh, everything. Listen, just a sec. Before we have tea, I've, um, I've got someone with me. But May, Tolly, ask her in, dear. No. No, not May. Someone else. He's, uh, he's out there. You've not been talking to strangers. He's a prince. <laughs> <laughs> prince. Someone's been pulling your leg. Yes, he is. He's a Russian prince. His name's Felix. What, Felix the cat? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Shall I ask him in? 
I can smell fish. If I don't have some soon, I'll be sick in many places. Ma'am, this is the prince. That's my mother, it's my father, it's my sister Ada, uh, I mean Adrian, and Mr. Templin. Mother. Father. Adrian. My kid brother, Albert. Well. <coughs> I uh, understand. Now shut up, Dad. Where's your manners? Won't you sit down, uh, 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 Prince? Oh, if that's what we call you. You may call me that if you like, but I would much prefer Felix. After all, you know, you are my mother. Ha I'm your what? The lady of the house is always my mother. What a funny idea. Well, this is a surprise. Yes. Glad tells us you call yourself a prince or some such thing. Yes. Are you angry with me for being something I cannot help? I assure you it is no advantage to be a prince, particularly a Russian one just at this moment. If I were not, I uh, shouldn't be hungry. And I'm very hungry. I want some fish. So am I. I'm starving. Here, Flossie! Flossie! We're the red addicts. We've got someone else for tea. Well, there's no reason why we shouldn't have tea, is there? Then we can talk after. Now, uh, now where should we all sit? Uh, oh, supposing you come and sit by me. Well, prince or no prince, you've got charming manners, hasn't he, Dad? <coughs> Who is this lady? May I be presented? Oh, I'm sorry. That's Auntie Flossie. She looks after us. We'd be lost without her. I'm sure you would. Auntie dear, this is Prince Felix Leniev. Oh, how do you do? How do you do? Oh, no, no, please. May I? Here? Now, where will you sit, please? The haddock's a bit dry. Can I have my cup of tea? No, you can't have it, dear. Oh, 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 oh,
Well? Genuine, beautiful stones. Did you know they were real, sir? Well, of course I did, but I wanted you to enjoy yourself. <laughs> <laughs> They're worth a lot of money. Look here. How would you like me to handle this for you? In what way? Well, I mean, would you like me to make a few inquiries, see what I could get for you? I take it you want to sell them. Sell them? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. One does not sell what the Tsar gives. Mm, well, he's past offending now. How do you mean? <laughs> I mean, he's, he's dead. Not to me. Oh, well, if you ever do change your mind, you've only got to let me know. Bit of a feather in my cap bringing stones like this to the office. Look here, perhaps if our manager was to come and see you, now, where could he get hold of you? Oh, Dad, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. You see, the Prince hasn't fixed up where he's going to stay. And I thought, as he doesn't know anybody in London, and, and you and Mum like the idea, that we might put him up here for a while. Oh, I, I wouldn't, uh, I, I wouldn't p presume. Oh, he doesn't take it like that, do you, Prince? I mean, he'd like it if you and Mum were agreeable. Agreeable? Well, the Prince sees how we live. Just for luck, you know. I mean, well, we don't go in for grand dinners and whatnots. Dinners? But I've never eaten more excellently. Oh, that's flotty. I thought it must be. <laughs> well, what do you say, Dad? <laughs> that's for you to say, Mum. I've no objection. You haven't? Well, now that's the first time I've known a Dad take to anyone at first sight. Oh, compliment for you, Prince. Come on, lad. Help me change the rooms over. Uh, uh, when will you move in? I am in. Little devil, you. <coughs> You're always intimidating yourself up. Well, after look nice when Mr. Thornton takes me out. Some talk about his making me head manicure. Eight quid a week, Mum. Eight? Eight? <laughs> Glad. Eight is going to be head manicure. No. Eight quid a week. That will be a help. Thought she was going round to Archie Pringles. Oh, what's the use? He's got a wireless. I ain't. Haven't? Well, haven't then. I don't seem to remember being asked for one. Cold dad. Oh, <laughs> well, you run along to Archie Pringle, see if they haven't got one like his, and we'll see what can be done. Mind you, I'm making no promises. Cool, that's gorgeous. And ten bob down. Oh, dear. Don't you be a father, Prince. Course money. Thanks, dad. He is nice. <laughs> Think he looks like me? No. Oh. Is he yours? Mine? I'm his father. Is that certain? Whatever do you mean? Oh, nothing except, you see, my mother's husband was not my father. Oh. Oh, no, she hated him. How could she have children with him? Yes, now you're speaking of foreigners. That sort of thing doesn't go on in England. Oh, no. <clears throat> I cannot tell you how I love all this and how very, very grateful I am to you. You know, it's so happy and so shut in. I feel secure in this house. <laughs> bit of a change, you mean? Yes, it is a bit of a change. I've seen a whole world, and a very beautiful one too, just crumble to ruins. This will never crumble. <laughs> I should say not. Why, the moment a patch of damp comes, that's enough for her. Off she goes for the plumber. <laughs> Who goes? My wife. <laughs> Your wife is nice too. <laughs> she was pretty once. <laughs> yes, she must have been. What a pity it is she's now so old. Old? I mean, for you. Mm, we're the same age. You are? Ah, but then, you know, women age so much quicker than men. When the man is in his prime, the woman is finished. It's a pity, but she's finished. You might just as well throw her away now. Uh, where do you keep your lady? You go on talking like this and you'll find yourself in wrong. Oh, no, forgive me if I say anything wrong, but, but you are a man in the prime. Why, my, my mother's father was 80 when he died and he was uh, responsible for four ballerinas all at the same time. And you know what ballerinas are. I do not. You don't? Oh, but you should. They are divine. We must speak much more of this. I remember in now, the... Now, look here, Prince. Oh, please to stop calling me that. Try, Felix. Oh, I couldn't do that. Yes, you could. Oh, but I couldn't. It wouldn't be right. Yes, it would. Now try. Mm, well, 
Felix. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> now, look here, Felix. Yes. Go easy with that sort of talk. I mean, you know, we're plain people. I mean, we get the news of the world and all that, but, well, that's the papers, not life. Well, not our sort of life. Of course, I cannot tell you how funny this is to me because I'm only speaking of what is natural with me and yet it is not natural with you. And yet we are both made the same. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, I could see you was a cut above us, miles above us, even in that suit. No one likes my little suit. Now, look here, it's getting late and I expect you'd like to fetch your things. I have no things. Now, what do you mean, no things, but clothes and things like that? No, this is what I have. Cool, but you'll have to buy some. You can't go around looking like a tramp. I'm sorry, I have no money. Well, you can't go around with nothing, can you? I'll tell you what, you'll have to pocket your pride. Pride? I have no pride. It went long ago. Well then, I can't see no other way. You'll have to sell them stones. Oh no, I don't want to Now do that. listen, you can't be obstinate when you haven't got a bob. Besides, I hardly like to mention it, but living's not cheap, you know. Oh, I mean, we can't give you what we have to eat. Why not? Dearie, why, you see, she knows. Why not? I'm the same as you. Oh, no. You're not the same as us. Of course you're not. You've got to live up to your position. Position? But I have no position. I am nothing and I have nothing. You've got thousands. Right there in your hand. Yes, but then that's very different. You see, I want nothing for myself. I'm quite con... Oh. You are poor in this house. You need money. <laughs> well, everyone needs money. Oh, well, then take them. Sell them for as much money as you can get. Now, that is splendid. It's right I should spend money on my home. But you can't do that, Will. Why can't I? It wouldn't be fair. You heard what he said about the Tsar. Oh, but that is quite different. Now the Tsar would be the last to object. Now it is of use to people. She is marvellous. There is pain in her eyes, but there is still a smile in her heart. Oh, <laughs> oh I say, there he is again. <laughs> Here, you better go and calm him down. Oh, husbands are not so easy to find these days. Even with his own garage, <laughs> we can all have free rides. Go on, <laughs> That room looks quite nice. I'm sure the prince will be pleased. Well, Mum, me and Felix have been fixing things up. Felix, indeed. You're forgetting yourself. Well, he made me. Felix. <laughs> <laughs> now you. Oh, I couldn't. Yes, you could. Oh, I couldn't. Well, try. I, I, <laughs> Felix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like... Now you are my real mother forever. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what they'll be like when they're married, Mum. You <laughs> naughty girl. Doesn't she look gorgeous? Why, what's this? You're almost beautiful. Oh. But tell me now, where, why do you wear that scarf around your head just like a peasant? Oh, well, it keeps my hair from blowing about. Where are you going? Dancing. You're going to walk? No, I'm, um, I'm going by tram. By tram? Uh, oh, you cannot go dancing in a tram. One of those horrible things that brought me here. Oh, no. Besides, what about your shoes? You cannot be dancing in dirty shoes. Now, look here, Glad. I'm about fed up with this. Well, why shouldn't you come out with me? Well, what do you think I brought the car around here for? Well, it's just a blooming waste of petrol. Oh, no, Mort. I told you I can't go out with you tonight. Oh, no. Come on now, Glad. Come on. Be a sport. Oh, go away, Mort. <laughs> here, Mum, tell that daughter of yours to come out in a new car. Car? What is this? You have a car? This is from heaven. You will take Adrienne to her dancing. Who the hell are you giving orders to? I come round here to take Glad out. Well, as you can't, you might have the decency to take aid. I'll do no such thing. Oh, I'm sorry we're not in a position to pay you for it. That's what it's for, isn't it? Pay? Oh, I see you make money with this car. Yes, but... Oh, that's all right. You'll make money tonight. Oh, and who's going to pay? I am. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. A fat lot of pain you'll do. Oh, I see. I'm not trusted. Father. Will you please tell this, um, chauffeur oh. that I'm all right financially? Oh, yes. Felix is all right. Oh, yes, Quite but... Right. What's the matter with you, Mort? Had a stroke? But, but, but I didn't come here to hire a car. No, but you're going to. Oh, God. Oh, why is he crying? Well, that's fine, isn't it? Here, you won't need this now. I'm furious with that, Mort. You keep him the whole evening if you want to. Oh, that is if the prince doesn't mind. Mind? Why should I mind anything now? If we like this car very much, we will buy it. Oh, Prince, you are a dear. Oh, it's nothing. Hmm. I almost wish I wasn't going now. 
She's charming. Is she still a good girl? Эт вас люблю, маленькая, эт вас... Why do you work so hard? It's my job. I will give you three servants if you like. I can manage. I would like to give you everything you want in the world, but you don't want anything. You're a very disagreeable old woman, and I love you so much. You like what I've done to this room? Look all right in a palace. Oh, <laughs> what do you know about palaces? More than you know about people like us. I know you well enough to love you, every one of you. If you really love people, you don't spoil them. Spoil? You call this spoiling? A few bits of Russian atmosphere? I have known a time when a whole town belonged to me. I had only to ask for the moon and someone would have run out and got it for me. I have known nights when the entire imperial ballet danced for an audience of one. Me. I can almost hear the violins now. I believe she still dances. Yes, don't you go bringing any of your ballet dancers here. There is no need. Glad would look delightful in a ballet skirt. And don't you go playing any games with Glad. Or you'll get your head bitten off. <laughs> I wonder. Nice haddocks today, Mrs. Wallace. Haddock? Is there such a fish? I want some caviare. Ten pounds of caviare. 
You know, Sergeant's Road. I'll see if we have any, madam. Thank you. Caviar, Mrs. Wallace. Oh, how do you do, Mrs. Sawley? <laughs> caviar is so expensive. I mean, uh, caviar is expensive. Caviar is. Caviar uh, caviar is. Oh, uh, well, the dear prince dotes on it. Come along, Maggie. I'm terribly anxious to see him. You'll soon have the opportunity. I'm thinking of giving a tea party shortly to meet the dear prince. My dear Mrs. Wallace. Oh, oh that reminds me. I wonder if you'd loan me your maid, Maggie, for the occasion. Why, of course. Delighted. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? Now, did you see that? What? Who does she think she is? That falls be James woman, just because we don't go to her brother's rotten old church. Well, it is rotten. It smells. <laughs> now, I must go to the crockery department. I had an accident last night. <laughs> I understand. I, uh... Miss Breeze. Good afternoon, Mrs. Fremantle. Oh, well, good afternoon, Mrs. Uh, uh, Sawley. I've just been talking to Mrs. Wallace. Uh, yes, I saw her. Ah, Mrs. Oh, James. Do, Mrs. Fremantle. As I was saying, I've just been talking to Mrs. Wallace. She was telling me about her visitor. Visitor? Yes, haven't you heard? No. She's got a Russian prince staying with her. Oh, oh prince? Yes, it's a fact. And she's giving a tea party to meet the prince. Oh, yes, she is. Oh, Mrs. Wallace, I do. We've just been hearing about your distinguished visitor. I do hope you'll give us an opportunity of meeting him, Mrs. Wallace. <laughs> the dear prince. Thinks of holding a little levy shortly. Probably take the form of tea. High, of course. Very high. Primaniari na nae poyoi. Primaniari pa nae poyoi. Primarai. Primaniai. Palai pramai. Banari banai poyoi, i marari banai poyoi, i avari pasne balaneta, pesi parai aneta, i marari poyoi, mosi vari aneta, profesh na je potinje, pira pasi na je mana, pri poyos ni. Oh, it's you. Tell me, why are you home so early? I've got the sack. you got the sack? What are you going to put in it? No, no, don't be silly. I mean, I've lost my job. That means you will not go there again? Oh, that is nice. You will now be here to talk to me in the mornings. That's all very well. He's not going to get me my money each week. You would like money each week? All right, darling, I'll sell another diamond. Oh, no, you won't. Oh, yes, I will. It's right I should give you things. Look what you give me. We don't give you much. You give me everything. I've got a home. I've got people around me loving me. I've learned to laugh again. Nothing I can give can pay for that. Yes, but we've all had something. No, we've not all had something. Auntie Flossie's had nothing. She will not let me. Why does that woman hate me? Oh, she doesn't hate you. In any case, why do you bother yourself about that poor old thing? What is all this poor old thing? She's not a poor old thing. She's true and she's real. And she looks at life with clear eyes, which is more than the rest of you do. Oh, you're all much too common and too vulgar to understand her. Well, in that case, I think I'd better go. Yes, you'd better go. I'm sorry I intruded. That's quite all right, only don't do it again. I didn't mean to be common and vulgar. Oh, I thought you'd go. Well, I meant to, but I couldn't. Couldn't you? Oh, I'm sorry, darling. You're not a bit common or vulgar. Not a bit. No, just very, very stupid. I've got to explain everything to you. Oh, I'm so miserable. You're miserable? You're crying too? That's right. It's good to cry. You should cry more. Oh, you've got no feelings. No feelings at all. You don't seem to care what happens. As long as people do what they want to do and what they're meant to do. Don't you do that to me. Why not? It doesn't mean anything. No, but it's nice. Not my kind of nice. Oh, darling, you are so silly to be so good. Oh, you're terrible. 
Have you had your bath yet? No. Why not? It's too cold. I don't know how you can do it. Do you want me to have my bath? Yes. All right. I'll have it. But you've got to come and talk to me while I have it. It's very nice in the bath, but it's very lonely. I will lie in the warm water and we will talk. Oh, you are the limit, as if I could. You never seem to think of what's decent and what's not. Well, now, what's not decent about warm water, for God's sake? All right, then I won't have a bath. In fact, I'll never have another bath. I've turned against the idea. I never did like baths, anyway. Oh, look, it's a mussy me. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm so tired. All these parcels. Oh, <laughs> there's my sweetheart. <laughs> we are pals, aren't we? We understand, don't we? I shouldn't be surprised, go blow me. <laughs> Listen to him. He's getting quite English, isn't he? Not very English, not having his bath. Well, why should he if he doesn't feel like it? No. I'm sure I sometimes dread Saturday night myself. Your bath's ready. I said your bath's ready. I've had it hours ago. Yes, he's had it, Floss. Oh, no, he hasn't. Come on. You see, before I was very happy, now I'm very miserable. I don't see why I should have a bath if I don't want to have a bath. You see, I I'll catch hold of my death now, then you'll all be sorry. In Russia, I would have you beaten. This is Fulham. I love you. <laughs> Isn't he a dear? Glad. Why aren't you at work? I've got the sack. Oh, you haven't. I was late again. What are you going to do about it? She'll soon get something. Oh, I don't seem to feel like trying these days. I haven't got any energy. No, nor do I. I wonder if there's a drop of Felix's vodka left. It's not your fault if there is. Lucy Williams, whatever do you mean? I never touch it. I wonder where I put it. <laughs> Here it is. But there's half a bottle. That's a new one. Well, we'll christen it. <coughs> Mum, how long have you and Dad been married? <coughs> oh. <coughs> Twenty-four years next November. <laughs> oh, Lord. Has he always been nice? I mean, uh, nice to you? <coughs> not running after other women? Oh, I should think not indeed. <laughs> Other women, I'd like to see him. I... <coughs> Dad, you're not hiding things from me, are you? I mean, you haven't heard things, have you? I'll tell you, ma'am. Oh, I wonder if I'd better. Yes, do, dear. <laughs> what was she like? Oh, well, I, I didn't have time to see her properly, but, but she was nicely dressed, you know. Nice white fox fur and all that. Why, oh, Mum, you, you could have knocked me down. Did they, did they seem to know each other? Well, they... Seem to be a bit familiar. <laughs> the dirty little beast. Oh, no. No, Mum, dear, don't cry. <laughs> I'll show him, I'll show him. <laughs> Twenty-four years. Oh, no, Mum. Twenty-four years. <laughs> oh, you don't see me going about in a car in a white... Foxburn. Just you wait till he comes home. Just you wait. Oh, no, Mum, dear. Mum, dear, don't cry. Oh, I wish I hadn't told you now. Oh, Mum, Mum, dear, don't. What's she laughing at? Oh. She's crying. Well, now, what is today? Well, why does everyone cry? Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Look, darling, look, you sit there, darling. Nice and comfortable chair. And I'll give you a little vodka. It will help. Oh, yes, it'll help a lot. <laughs> Here you are, darling. Now drink this. It'll either stop you crying or make you cry much more. It doesn't matter which. <laughs> <laughs> it does perk you up a bit, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> now, darling, do you wish to tell me why you're crying? No, you wouldn't understand. You'd never be married. You're crying because you're married? You've waited a long time. <laughs> I'm crying because of him. Him? You have a lover? <gasps> Felix, how can you? No, I'm crying because my... Husband is untrue to me. <laughs> oh, I see. You found out then. <laughs> found out? Found out what? No, it was just I was telling him he ought to be more gay and he's followed my advice. That's nice. You told him? Yeah. I don't believe it. You couldn't do it. You couldn't do a nasty thing like that to me. But it's not nasty, darling. It's nice. He'll be sweet to you now. You can ask him for anything you like and you'll get it. <laughs> but I don't want anything. I only want him. <laughs> I've always kept myself respectable. Oh, then you've missed a lot of fun. Oh. There'll never be any fun for me again. <laughs> Nonsense, darling, of course. The... <laughs> What's this? This is real? Oh. <laughs> darling, I have made you unhappy. I must go away. No. Darling, you don't understand. I must go away. You are my mother, and yet I have made you unhappy. And now I am unhappy, too. Oh, life is so vile and so black. There is no use in anything. It's better to die than make you unhappy. Oh, dear. I can't have you be sad. But I am sad now. That'll never do. Never. Here, you take a drop of this. Yes, darling, you're right. It is perking. One should always be a little bit drunk, you know. <laughs> you're very quiet. Could you think of something to say? I can think of something all right. The difficulty is where to begin. Oh, it's like that, is it? Well, you better get it off your chest. You know, you're not such a pretty eater that I can sit here and gaze at you in silence for much longer. Look here, Vi, there's trouble at home. Oh, I know. That daughter of yours. What do you mean? Nothing. No. As a matter of fact, it's the wife. She knows. Well? What are you going to do about it? It's no good, Vi. We've got to finish. Finish? Haven't you got the guts to stand up to that tipsy old baggage? Steady on by, I won't have any of that. Well, what else is she? You tell me yourself. Boozing and barging about the place like a fishwife? I never said that. Drunk she may be. Disorderly, never. Always the lady. Listen! If you think you're going to walk out on me just because that old trollop makes herself unpleasant, you're wrong. Shh. It's no good, Vi. I've made up my mind. Have you? Now you attend to me. You'll come round as usual. If you don't, I'll be round to see you. Put that in your spoon and drink it. <laughs> oh, it's you, is it? <laughs> Brought you the party frock, dear. Oh, what's the matter? I, I thought we was a respectable family. Oh? Anybody been talking too much? Talking? It's deeds, not words. Someone you've looked up to all your life. Oh, oh little fit. Oh, hello, Felix. How are you? I don't know. I haven't tried. Here you. Go and put a clean collar on. Even if you are a dirty old man. There's no reason why you should wear a dirty dicky. Well? Extremely. Oh. 
Oh, that I not... Don't kiss me. I just had my bath. I'm all clean. Oh, you are coming a lot to this house. Why is that? It's my home, isn't it? Even if I don't live here. And where do you live? Little flat. Share it with another girl in the shop. Is he nice to you? Oh, I hate him. You hate him? Well, why do you put up with him? What else could I do? It's too late now. Who made it too late? You did. I? You're mad. Oh, yes, you did, filling me up with all your tales about being free. Well, why are you making such a fuss, darling? It was a very good idea. Oh, I'm not so sure. I didn't know I was going to fall in love with you. You're in love with me? Oh, that's charming. Yes, but being in love with you, I can't stand him. You should have thought of that before. Oh, I did. Felix, do be nice to me. But I am nice to you. I keep telling you, you're quite chic now. Oh, you've no feelings. No feelings at all. That's very funny. That's just what Glad said. Glad? You haven't been making love to her, have you? No, she doesn't want me to. How do you know? Well, I tried. No good. I wouldn't turn you down, Felix. Oh, do be sweet to me, just a little, and I'd be happy. I've got to be happy. My job depends upon how nice I am to Mr. Thornton. Mr. Thornton? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Mr. Thornton. You still call him Mr. Thornton? Does, does he call you Miss Wallace all the time? <laughs> oh, stop laughing at me, Felix! I can't help it, darling. You're so funny. <laughs> You're wicked. That's what you are, wicked. But just you leave Glad alone, that's all. Just you leave her alone. Oh, you're jealous. I'm not of my own sister. But Glad's a good girl. Always was. And if you so much as lay a finger on her, I'll... I'll... Well, now, what will you do, eh? Nothing. Oh. Because there will be no need. Glad is a very nice and very good girl, but... I fear she doesn't find me very interesting. Oh, kiss me, Felix. What, before tea? Shan't be here after. Won't you? All right. Wait a minute. Now, you understand, I don't want to do this. Oh, don't you? I don't care. I do. Oh. Don't mind me. Oh. Hello, Glad. Hello, yourself. A bit early for that sort of thing, isn't it? That's what I said. After tea is better. She couldn't wait. Does Mum know about this? I'm sure she'd like to. She loves a bit of romance. This is not romance. You're damned right it isn't. Nothing is with you. I know what's the matter with me. I'm too easy. You take my advice, Glad. If you've got a crush on him, don't let him know it. He might get you somewhere. She's a very noisy girl. Glad these are rotten chocolates. You're only two with nuts. I like the ones with nuts. Yes, they're harder to bite into, aren't they? Yes, much. Poor old Ada. Why is she poor? She has nice clothes. Clothes? They're not everything. Well, not to some people, but they are to Ada. It must be horrible to love you. Why? Because you just don't know what love is. Oh, well, what is love? You tell me, eh? Oh, I don't know. How should I? But I shall someday. But you won't. Never. Oh, you're nice enough. You like to give us all a good time and everything like that. But, but there's nothing kind of personal. You're empty. Like a nice vase with no flowers in it. Glad, I want to speak to you. Well, I don't want to speak to you. Glad, Glad, now listen, you'll be sorry if you don't listen to what I'm speaking with you about. I've never seen Glad like that before. She gets a bit upset lately. Don't take any notice. Oh, she's a bit highly strung. Oh, you know, Mum, there is something so divine about that little girl. I know you think so. She thinks the world of you. Oh, no, she doesn't. She says, I haven't got any flowers in my vase. <laughs> what a sweet thought. You have got flowers in your vase? I put them there myself this morning. Oh, darling. You're so sweet and so silly. <laughs> I love your dress. <sighs> I'm glad you like it. Help me to forget my troubles. Yes. Felix, that girl's a treasure. I don't know what I shall do when she's gone. Gone? 
She's going away. Oh, she'll have to, you know. Some days, some nice men. Us poor mothers have to face it sometimes. And Mort's a nice steady boy. Mort? She would marry that horrible comedian? She couldn't do it. I don't see what else she can do. She is much too fine. She's much too sweet for him. Oh, I could tell you such nasty things about that man. Uh, they'd all be lies, but I could tell you them. Oh. Now, listen, you, you understand. Now, I will not have her marry him. Why not? Because, uh, well, I don't know. I only know I will not have her marry him. Well, she's got to marry someone. All right, then she can marry me. I don't care. You mean you want to marry Glad? Want to? That's the most marvelous idea. I never thought about that before. Oh! 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 oh. What's the matter, darling? My darling boy! Oh, you're glad. Glad? I should think I am glad. My own dear girl, a princess. Now, that means nothing. Nothing. It means everything to me, and don't you make any mistake. I wonder where they all are. Let's go and tell them. Oh, no, darling, listen. Please. I've never spoken to Glad of this. Oh, never. But well, don't you think she better know? Yes, of course she must know. Oh, but darling, now please, only from me, and in my own way, and in my own time. You know, that little girl's a very sensitive little girl, mm. and I wouldn't like it to be hurt in any way. So promise. I promise. Perhaps you're right. In the meantime, it's our little secret. Yes. <laughs> Kiss your mum. <laughs> <laughs> now, darling, I'm really going to dress myself for the party. Oh, where is my Florence going? They'll be here soon. A lot I care. They're not coming to see me. I'm going to the pictures. To the pictures? I'm coming too. You're not. But of course I am. I want to. Just for once, do something you don't want to. Fraklata, ya gentina! Боже мой, какая у нас бора влада, правда и правда, это не правда. И правда, и правда. I hope what he said was in Russian. I got to see who it is. Go on, get him down. Maggie! Maggie! Didn't you hear the bell? Yes, Well, Mary. why don't you go and answer it? It's the front door. Yes, ma'am. Oh, come here. Listen to me. Ask everyone their name as they come in. What, the missus as well? Oh, for God's sake, wipe your nose. Have you got a handkerchief? Yes, ma'am. Oh, you gumpy creature. Go on, go on, to the bell. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> what name, please? What'd you say? What name, please? What name? Have you gone mad, Maggie? Oh, she said I was to say, what name, please? Felix! <laughs> well, this is nice. <laughs> I see we are the first. Not a bad idea. First come, first served. Tea won't be long. I hope our Maggie's satisfactory. Oh, as far as girls go these days. Oh, me! What a sweet hat from the West End. Tooting. Uh, yes, you can tell. That's a nice frock, Mrs. Wallace. What is? Oh, this is a fountain. A what? A fountain. My daughter, Adrienne, has influence there. How do you do? Hello, May. Hello, Abe. Uh, so you were at the theatre the other night. Was that Mr. Thornton you were with? It might have been. Does the prince go to the theatre? I mean, does he understand what they're saying? He speaks perfect English. As good as what you or me does. Well, I haven't got time to listen to your good ideas. Now, darling, it's a marvellous idea. Now, we send them all away and we eat all the caviar ourselves. I've often done that in Russia. It works out much the best in the... Oh, now, come on, Maggie. There's the doorbell again. Do you know, she's never been so happy in her life. Darling, I'm so sorry I was angry just now. Oh, that's all right. But I'm not angry anymore. I'm gay. Oh, that's fine, isn't it? Yeah, it's fine. You know, darling, it was that Florence. She upset me. She was so vile to me. Why have you taken any notice of her? Oh, but I do take notice of her. She's like some dark cloud with lightning inside, ready to strike at me. <laughs> Mrs. Freebad, that's another lie. How do you do, Mrs. Wallace? How do you do? I brought my 
Daniel. How do you do, Miss uh, Breeze. Miss Breeze? Now, would you like to wash your hands on anything? Uh -huh. Here's my daughter, Glad uh, Gladys. I think you all know each other. Of course. How do you do? Oh, oh, yes. Now, which would you like, milk or lemon? A la rush, you know. Oh, Where is he? Oh, uh, pardon me for a moment while I go and get the lemon. Maggie! Why, of course, Mrs. Go in, show yourself. Don't stay too long. You contaminate the air. Oh. <coughs> Maggie! Maggie, cut up a lemon quick. Hello, darling. Oh, Felix, we're waiting for you. You're waiting? Mm. All right, darling, then finish that for me, will you, please? It'd be a pity to waste it, wouldn't it? Yes, great pity. <coughs> I found him. Won't you lie down? Let me introduce you. Uh, Mrs. Fremantle. Uh, Miss, Miss, uh, Miss Breeze. Mrs. Solly. And Miss May Solly. Charming custom kissing the hand. Oh, I think it depends on the hand, don't you? <laughs> A tea, Felix? Yes, please. Oh, won't you sit by me, Prince? Yes, I'd love to. Thank you. Oh, where is she going? Oh, what do you see there? Oh, thank you. Oh. I must show you that photograph. Glad. A photograph of you, please. My husband found it in an old magazine oh. taken before the war. Oh, that's it, Glad, dear. Now, there's the dear prince, taken as a boy, not changed a day. I remember this group so well. See, there is the Tsar. There is my mother. And look, the Tsarina. Oh, how beautiful. Yes, she was so beautiful. And so lonely, too. You know, she should have lived in a little town with little people. Then she'd have been happy. Is that your father? Oh, no, that is my mother's husband. That is my father. How typically Russian. Two husbands in one group. Oh, but he was not her husband. Oh. I wish you would have seen him. I loved him so much. He was cut to pieces in front of his own palace. And your mother, is she alive? No. She saw them do it and her heart broke. But he was not her husband. No, I don't think she remembered that when her heart was breaking. Please, your... Uh, what do I call you? You may call me anything you like. Now, won't you give me the pleasure to sit with me? Yes, of course. Uh, do say a word to my daughter. Well, what word shall I say? A rude one? Oh. I don't know many rude ones in English. You should hear them in Russian. Oh, that reminds me. A tiliona krasivi vekarovi. What does that mean? That's a very beautiful old Russian proverb. It means the calf is much prettier than the cow. <laughs> now, I insist, now, you all drink with me in vodka. I'll go and fetch it. Uh, what's vodka? Don't be silly, Mother. You know, the vodka boat. Oh, oh is he bringing boatmen in here? What charm, what charm. There's something in me responds to foreigners. He was very charming to me. Don't let it get to your head, Miss Breeze. Maggie, where's the vodka bottle? Vodka. You've been drinking it. Why haven't? Haven't you? Well, then you must drink it now. It's not fair that all the old ladies should have vodka. My little Maggie not have any vodka. Go on, darling. That's right. Now, you finish that by the time I get back. Otherwise, I'll frighten you to death. I found it. Now, I think we all drink up in the teacups. It goes very well in tea. I never tasted it. You never have? No. Then I show you that once you start, you will never stop. Oh, I don't really think I ought Oh, but you must, that. otherwise I should be most offensive. <laughs> the national drink of Russia. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think they ought to. But of course she must. It's very good for us. <laughs> you? Oh. Now then, when I say one, two, three, galupchik, we all drink right up. But no sipping, otherwise it will go straight to your heads. Now then, one, two, no sipping. No. No. One, two, three, Kalupchi! <coughs> <laughs> she likes it, 
knew she was one more time. Oh, no, oh, no, you might. You no, find no, 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 it's no, the I second don't. time. It goes down so much easier. You'll find he would just slip down past the utensils. Yes. Now then. One, two, three. Kalupchik. It was much easier that time. <laughs> what did I tell you? Oh, May, whatever will your dad say? <laughs> Here. You're an only child. No. Oh, three more like me. Good God. What day, please? Miss Thorsby Jane. Oh. oh, there you are. We were wondering. I'm so sorry I was delayed. Well, let me introduce you. Prince Felix Lenief, Miss Thorsby James. Oh, I'm afraid I'm caught. Would what? you mind releasing me? Come, please. No, I can't. I'm on my dress. Well, it's enough now. Come Would you help me? Up. I can't get up. Oh, I see. you make the stickings. Yes. Oh, I see. So now, now, balance with me nicely and I'll knock you on the floor. Wait a minute. Uh, I, now. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's it. Thank you so much. <laughs> I see Mrs. Fremantle has arrived. How do you do? How do you do? Now, uh, okay. oh, which would you like? Tea or vodka? We just had some. The prince insisted. Oh, no, 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 no. No vodka. But a little tea a la Russe would be most welcome. <laughs> I think you know, Mrs. Sawley. Oh, yes. How do you do? I remember meeting you so well. Did you pay? Did you pay? Yes, you paid a lot of money, actually. Me? Oh, tea? Prince. This is too kind. Oh, it's nothing. Delicious. So unlike our English tea. What day, please? Miss Violet Bradshaw. <laughs> Miss Bradshaw. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you had company. Now, do bring the lady a chair. Go on, sit down. <laughs> you don't know me? No. But I know all about you. Oh. I expect that's Ada, isn't it? Works at Thornton. Oh, you certainly do know all about us. I suppose we must have met. Bradshaw? Not a sister of Dr. Bradshaw? No, not a sister of Dr. Bradshaw. <laughs> Dear Dr. Bradshaw, so <laughs> handsome. And what bedroom manner? <laughs> not <laughs> yet, dear. Get her out of here. Oh, who? She's the woman I saw in the car with Dad. <laughs> what? Yes. Oh, get her out of here. <laughs> I think you made some mistake. I beg your pardon. You heard. Go on, get out of here. I came here to see Will. Will? And who's Will? My husband, I presume. Go on, up it. When I've seen him. You'll go now. Oh. oh, pardon me, won't you? But this woman's no right here. We'll see about that. Yes, we will. Oh. I know all about you. You, you go back to your beat. Hush, Mum, please. I don't care. I care very much. You have friends. Oh, get her out of here. Get her out of here. Now leave this to me, please. But who are you? Oh, I know. You're the prince. The one he's jipping out of his money. Come with me, please. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not being ordered about by any straight foreigners with dirty habits. I've come here for my rights. Rights? Walks out on me and leaves me stranded, the dirty little tyke. And who does he think he is? Not fit to meet his family, aren't I? A drunken old woman with a daughter that can teach me a thing. Oh! Thornton's bit. That's who she is. Don't you look down your nose at me. Please go. When I say Darling, so. Don't don't speak with this woman. And who are you? The pure young girl I don't think. Nosing round after a slimy dago. Prince. Get 
Get in there! I'll speak with you. again. So sorry, everybody. Would you mind please going now? Well, if I'd known there was to have been this scene... You would have come a little earlier? It's been amusing? We know it is not your fault. Oh, yes, it is all my fault. Oh, we should never have come. Why not? You have seen a glimpse of real things, felt by real people. You're a foreigner. You don't understand. I begin to. Oh, well, we better go. I have my car. Will you drop me? I feel quite shaky. Oh, that's because you are drunk. <laughs> if I hear of any gossip, I shall know how to deal with it. Oh, I wouldn't say a word. I'm much too fond of Mrs. Wallace. We all love our troubles. <laughs> Miss Breeze, have you gone to sleep? How dare you? Oh! Well, have you finished? You'll find out whether I've finished or not. Oh, well, first of all, I want to try to apologize for my exhibition just now. But I'm not responsible when I'm drunk or when I'm angry. Now we can talk. And I suppose you want money. Yes, and a tidy sum. Lead me up the garden path. How was I to know you was married? Is that so important in your profession? Do you like to hurt people? Not till I'm hurt first. Will you mind if I tell you a little story of something that happened in Russia not so very long ago? One of my father's women once dared to come to see my mother. Two days later, her body was found floating in the Neva. Yeah. I don't like that kind of talk. You can't threaten me. This is England. Threaten you? I don't threaten you. I just tell you a little story of something that happened in Russia. Why should I threaten you? I am much too unhappy. How are you? About you. Why are you wasting your time? Wasting my time? Well, don't you think it is? A little old man selling diamonds? I call it a horrible waste of time. With that face, you should fly higher, much higher. What are you getting at? Now, this may sound very ridiculous to you. After all, we've met once in very unhappy circumstances, but um, you attract me. You've got a funny way of showing it. Oh, yes, I know. But then you see, that's my temperament. I'm a Russian. Oh. I've never known a Russian. You never have? Oh, what you've missed. They're delightful. Would you like to know one better? Better? Much better. Eh? We can't very well talk here. You know, they might come in and they wouldn't quite understand. But there must be somewhere where we can be a little bit undisturbed. Now, where do you live? Have you got a card? Uh, well, no. Oh. I wonder if I have a small piece of paper or something. Here, yeah, what's this? Yes, you could write your name there, couldn't you? Oh, now I have no pencil. Isn't that stupid? Wait, wait, wait. Perhaps... Now write your name and your home. And I shall know where I can come to find you when I wish to. Can you read my writing? Violet Bradshaw. 115 Bedford Street. Yes. I can read it. Well, what are you laughing at? Would you like to know what's written here now? Well, what's 
what's all that? I have tried to blackmail Mr. Wallace, upon who I have no claim whatsoever. Oh! I never wrote that. Oh, no, I wrote that. You signed it. And now I must witness this. And then one more witness I shall need. Must be very correct. I've been in jams like this before. Glad. Here. Put your name there. Why, what's all this? You'll see. Oh. Oh, I should say I will. Goodbye. I'll have the police onto you. You've assaulted me. I've witnesses. Well, those people? Oh, no, no. They will all lie and you will be arrested for blackmail. The law in England is very strong against blackmailers. But you need not worry about the law. Oh, no. You will have disappeared long before that. You swine! Thank you. I quite agree with you. But you've hurt the people I love. You filthy... I shall now take you to the front door. And then I shall deposit you in the street, which you will recognize. Goodbye, darling. Oh, father, the last of the ballerina. You know, she wasn't a very nice ballerina. I'll find you a much better one next time. Uh, next time, not me. Thank you, Felix, my boy. I'm much obliged to you. Oh, that's all right. I'm sure you'll do the same for me someday. Oh, I'll go and put this away in a safe place. In a very safe. <laughs> oh, look, here is little Mrs. Sunshine come back to us. Enjoy your pictures. Enjoy your party. It was divine. Everything go off nice and smooth. Calm as the sea. They didn't stay long. No, the sea got a bit rough. And when's the next tea going to be? Oh, you're wicked. So are you, but you don't know it. I do. That's one up to me, I think. <laughs> Oh, no, no, not you, not you. Oh, crassy Felix got out of a nasty mess. Eh? He'll get us out of anything, bless him. Oh, I'll... I'll never be able to look Mrs. Freemantle in the face again. The disgrace. Bringing his woman to my house. Oh, Mummy didn't bring her. She came by herself. <laughs> Where's Dad? Upstairs. Oh, you're still here, are you? Looks like it, doesn't it? Well, I'll trouble you not to set foot in this house again. Oh, and whose house is it? Not yours. No one comes here to disgrace me. I can't afford it, not now. Oh, and since when did you become so high and mighty? How do you know I'm not in love? <laughs> love? Well, why doesn't he marry you? He will. Well, when he does, if he does, you can return. Your habits are no concern of mine. But it's got to look right. That is a very stupid thing to say. Stupid? Oh, don't you turn against me. I will turn against you. If you're stupid. I won't have people saying, yes. What about the other daughter? What other daughter? Meaning me? No. You're all right. Very much all right. I've always known there were great things in store for you. Oh, great things. Oh, Mum, you're mad. Am I? I don't think. Oh, I... I've been bottling something up and it, it's got to come out. I've got a daughter who's no better than she should be. But I've got another daughter who makes up for it all, who's fit for anything, anything, fit to be a princess. And she's going to be, isn't she, Felix? We know, don't we? We know. Oh, Mum, Mum, you're mad. Isn't she, Felix? Well, you heard what she said. What she said? What the hell do I care what she said? It's what I say. I know, dear. But you won't say no. Oh, won't I? When I'm asked. When I'm asked. All right. I do ask you, will you marry me? No, 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 no. There's a little spitfire. Don't take any notice. Any notice? But she's marvelous. She's beautiful. Beautiful? Well, I'm glad you think so. She didn't mean it, Felix. Well, of course she meant it. Oh, I'm so happy she said no. You see, before it was quite easy, but now there is something to do. Well, I wish you joy of it. Goodbye, Mum. Oh. I shan't be seeing you again. Goodbye, Felix. What's this? You might come to Thornton's and order the trousseau. 
We shan't charge extra because of the prints. It'll be a good advertisement. I'm off. Good luck, Glenn. You won't be seeing me much here in the future. You might give me a ring sometime and let me know how things are going on. You know where to find me. So long. Oh, there's my girl. Oh, I'm all right. <laughs> Mum, do you mind? I want to talk to Felix a minute. Oh, I bet you do. You'll have a lot to say to each other, right? <laughs> <laughs> what are you waiting for? Can you do your own packing? Or do you want help? One of us is going. And it won't be me. I'm sorry I lost my temper just now. Oh, that's all right. But you should have laughed as I did. Well, I, I didn't see anything to laugh at. Didn't you? Proposal of marriage in public, I think that's very funny. Well, then, why did you? Well, couldn't you see? It was forced on me. If you ask me, I was forced on you, too. <laughs> I should just think you were. Are you trying to tell me you're backing out? I'm not in. But, uh... Oh, I know what this is called. It's called getting out of it gracefully. Gracefully. Caddishly, more like. Well, my dear child, you said no. Not once, but 84 times. Oh, but just because I said no, then, it doesn't mean that oh, I... Oh, no, no. We Lenniefs, you know, we never ask for a thing twice. We have our pride, we Lenniefs. Stop talking about we Lenniefs. Who are you, anyway? Prince my foot. Where would you be now if I hadn't found you starving? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. That was common, wasn't it? Not more than I expect. Don't you call me common. You call yourself common. It's not the same thing. The fact remains. Well, as long as we know. So long as we know. This is what I get for being soppy. Soppy? Or, oh, you mean romantic? Yes, romantic. Only we common people call it being soppy. Oh, it's very stupid of you, darling. It's a horrible word. Don't use it again. I was bowled over by talking to a prince. It doesn't mean a damn thing. But I've always told you that. I've made your bed. I've mended your socks. Do you think I cared then who you were? I only did it because I... Because, because I... you loved me? Oh, oh, no. Liar. Lie yourself. I did it because I... Because... Because you love me. No, no, Say I it. won't. Say it. Say it. No. Say it. Because I loved you. Come here. No. No, it's all over now. You said I was common. Well, you are common. Come here and give me a common kiss. They're so nice. No. No, it won't mean anything. No, I know, but it'll be nice. Oh, you... You didn't shave properly. Oh, I don't care. You needn't ask me to marry you. You needn't marry me at all. After all, you did ask me once. I'll always know that up against you. Yes, but darling, your mother would prefer... Yes, but I want you to know that I don't care. All that silly stuff about being a princess. It's you and me, Felix and Glad. That's what I care about. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, no, I'm not. But I will be to you. Always. Shall I tell you something? You know that never before since I was born has anything ever belonged to me. Only to me. I'm happy for the first time in my life. Oh, yes, yes, we will marry, we will have many babies, and we will fight. Oh, no, we won't fight. Well, of course we will fight, I'll marry people, always fight, it's half the fun. You see, first of all, I shall beat you to show how much I hate you, and then I shall beat you to show how much I love you. And how will I know which it is? <laughs> you won't know, darling, but I shall know. Shall I beat you once to show you? Eh? Oh, bit of a savage, aren't you? Oh, glad. Stay there just a moment. There is a light around your hair. You're very beautiful. Yes. I should like to keep a little lamp burning in front of you the whole time. All right, that's enough beauty for one moment. Go on away now, for God's sake. Oh, 
Oh, it's you. You heard? I heard some nonsense. Oh, no, this is not nonsense. This is true. We will marry, we will have many babies, and we will call them all after you, boys and girls. Oh, boy, boy, I'm so happy. Now, you'll see. Everything will be all right. Now, Mum will forgive Ada. Will she? With a prince for a son-in-law? Oh, she'll get over that. Not Edie. Edie's a snob now. Too much of a snob to mind how much people laugh. Who will laugh? Everyone. Princess Gladys. What are you trying to do? You're trying to put doubts into my mind? Doubts? That's beyond you. You're quite satisfied. You think as long as you give people what they want, everything's all right. You're blaming me for giving, for something I have done. Not for what you've done, for what you are. You are you. Nothing's going to change that. Oh, go away from us. Don't do any more to us. You say that to me? You dare say that to me? I would die sooner than hurt you. But you have. Every one of us. Yes, but how? Tell me how. Just cast your mind back. Up to the time you came here, we were doing pretty nicely. Nothing very grand, but then we weren't intended to be grand. Look at us now. What's left of us? Oh, no, 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 please. Not, not you crying, please. Look here. There's my own sister half fuddled all the time. Behaving like a fishwife one minute and putting on airs and graces the next. Ada, who's a good girl, really she is, gone her own silly way. Look at Will, turned out of his own house after 24 years, breaking his heart. And then young Vlad, yes. who's a worker and a good one too, out of a job and not caring. All because she stopped seeing straight. She never will see straight. Not while you're here to dazzle her. And all this is because of me? It's all because of you. Now do you see? Only one thing I see clearly. That they fill your heart, that little family, don't they? Well, now, please, take me into your heart, too. Do you know that all my life, I've never known anything but murder and bitterness and misery? Do you know that this little time I live with you is my only happiness? Now, don't send me away, please. I'll, I'll do anything if you will let me stay. I'll, I'll, I'll be qu quite different if you will let me stay. You can't be different. You can't put an eagle in with a lot of sparrows. They don't mix. We don't. We can't. Not ever. But this is Glad and me. I mean, we love each other. We, we're a man and woman. We will marry. It's no use. How do you know? I do, that's all. I just do. And if you look deep down, so do you. Yes. If I look deep down, so do I. I've hurt the people I love. It's very bitter to know that. Oh, but of course you're right. I must go, and I must go now, too, before they come down, because, you see, if I were to see my little Glad again, I... I couldn't go ever. Now, no tears. There are things that you must do for me before I go. You know that Mum loves me. I don't know why, but she does. I... I want you to ask her to be nice to Dad for me. They'll be all right. You swear? And... This is not quite so easy to say. Uh, someday, my, my little Glad will marry. I pray it is not that horrible mort. It won't be. Not now. No. Well, now, if it is someone that you like, you know, some nice man, I, I want you to give her these from me to help. There are not many left. Oh, no. You'd better keep them. You might need them. Oh, no. I could never use these for myself. Please. I never thought I'd wear the Tsar's jewels. They do not look out of place, I assure you. Oh, now listen. There's just one more thing that you will do for me, please. The next time you go to kiss the little family. I'm not given to kiss uh, No, I know. They will be very surprised, but you see, they will not know that it is only I am kissing them goodbye.
Goodbye. Thank you for having me with you so long. Oh, uh, could you tell me, please, at what time do they close that, um, that um, palace, that um, Hampton Court? It's open till sunset. Oh, till then? Oh. That is nice. Felix just went out? Yes, he's gone. Gone? Just gone? Glad! What have you been saying to him? Glad, dear, he was never meant to be here. How do you know? Haven't we lived since we've been, been here? We've lived too much. You can't, no one cares. Glad, listen to me. You listen to me. Where's he gone? What's the good? Good? I'll tell you what's the good. I'm going after him. If he's going to starve, then I'll starve with him. If he won't work, then I'll work for him. He's turned me from a rotten little snob into somebody different. You'll never stand it. Oh, won't I? Well, see about that. Now, come on, where's he gone? No. Where's he gone? Glad. Are you sure? Sure? Why, of course I'm sure. Well, he did ask when they closed Hampton Court. He left these for you. Three diamonds. They're yours. Oh. <laughs> Dad, can you lend me ten bob? I'm broke. Oh. Oh. Dear, come on, quickly. Oh, no. well, what's it for? I'm taking a taxi. Well, go. Oh. Why? It's quicker. Edie, do you think you're strong enough to help Will carry that up again? Certainly not. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>